there's a Casey Jones movie that you guys need to see. That is right. Uh, Casey Jones Live Wire is an awesome project. Uh, they did an Indiegogo and Kickstarter, all put together, acted out by my good friend Adam Michaels and the awesome team at Chromatic Phantom. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Adam's work, he's an amazing artist. He is a singer, he is an actor, he's done musicals. Uh, Dude, an all-around great guy. So you guys need to check this out. And today we're going to be unboxing the actual perk that came with backing the crowdfunded campaign. Um, a little backstory on Adam. I met him uh, actually kind of through cons. Uh, I work at the Galloping Ghost Arcade and we used to do the Mortal Kombat convention, Combat Con. Uh, we did that a few years in a row and adam's a huge mortal Kombat fanatic and does awesome awesome art for for mortal Kombat characters and we'll take a look at his art later but he would get a table uh, at our convention became good friends with him and he's actually uh helped us out with some of our stuff on our projects if you guys back the magic cop 2 campaign uh which is a book that my brother and i put together there's magic cop he did the awesome bookmark art uh, he does these really cool magic wands for Harry Potter fans. Um, and he did the magic cop magic wand for the bookmark. Uh, if you guys are just tuning into the channel, please hit that like, ring the bell for notifications. My name is Phil. I'm a comic book writer and um, I guess YouTube guy. I don't know. Just one half of the two best looking brothers in all of comics. And look at this. This is, might be the best looking box that I've gotten beautifully packaged. And the first thing I want to pull out, we open up this box. Yes, that is a cassette video, cassette tape, VHS box with the, the uh, movie inside of it. So if you guys have a video player and you got this, look at that. It's got the tape, Casey Jones live wire, as you can see, a 28 minute video uh lots of action in this and there's special features there's a full music video they they do back in the new york groove it's my favorite ace freely song just throwing that out there so retro so awesome if you're an if you're an 80s kid and you love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you love Casey Jones, uh, you're going to want to see this. Now I'm going to put a link in the description of where you can actually watch it because you could watch it right now. Uh, but this was specifically for the backers. Awesome touch. I'm going to be throwing that into a, a PCR. Um, so yeah, it follows Casey in April there, as you can see. Uh, some kick-ass art. Very retro uh graphics the music in it is is great awesome kind of synth wave style and all the masks in the film for casey they actually molded and cast their badass casey jones masks um all right let's see what else is in this box now this small parcel here check this out i mean i've already opened this so i know what's in here wrapped up this is another perk that you could have got and you know how i love my statues even busts you know i always want a statue more than a bust but if i can get a bust i'll take it and this is great this is i don't know it, it seems like maybe this is uh 
a filament 3D printed. You know, it's digitally sculpted. It might be filament 3D printed, and they put a really, really good smoother, probably acetone wash on it. Really smooth, awesome finish. Uh, even has little um, manhole cover, little homage to the to the turtles, and uh, a, a cool addition to the costume too. Uh, he had this in the uh, movie. I really dug kind of the uh, the shoulder piece, and then stamps. He's got these badass stamps on this box, and this is the rest of what came with it. Folded up shirt. Shirt. Look at that. They had some of these shirts. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, Adam's a local in Chicago, and they had a premiere downtown Chicago at a theater that my brother and I went to. We took the girls downtown to see Casey Jones live while Adam was there, dressed in the, he dressed up. He had the red carpet going on, and uh, all saw it for the first time in the theater. They did a Q and A afterwards. It was so cool. Uh, but and it's, it seems like they are trying to put this out into the ether as a pilot for something that they would want to do in the future. You know, Eastman or who, who has the rights now? Nickelodeon would want to do that, um, a series or something like that. But it also shows their skills as creators, as filmmakers. Hell, I was telling my brother, it'd be so cool. We're already in the crowdfunding scene. We got the comics and everything. How cool would it be to do a Lost Pages or, you know, film based on our comic characters? Because we have some badass vigilantes um, that kind of live up to the hype of Casey Jones. Now, this is a mug. The thing is, though, I don't, I'm not sure if you could still get these items. I'm going to give you a link to their site and their social media where, and they have a newsletter, so you'll be informed if they ever do produce this for for sale instead of just being kind of um, claiming it as a backer. Kick-ass mug. And then, who doesn't love enamel pins? I used to love enamel pins. I have a leather jacket. Let's be real, it's pleather, okay? Pleather jacket with a ton of enamel pins. I got a little Lobo pin. I got a Doc Holiday pin with a cup that spins. I got the Doomsday Clock. It's, you know. And then I figured, and then my, you know, I was in my, you know, getting into my mid-20s. I'm like, this is kind of weird wearing all these pins on a not real leather jacket. How many, I'm not even going to metal concerts. I didn't want to be a poser. And then here, this bad boy. Blu-ray people, Blu-ray, Casey Jones live wire on Blu-ray. There's that kick-ass chromatic phantom uh, logo. Maybe close up on that. There you go. I really like that logo. Pretty sick. High production. So cool. I mean, there's some special effects in there. The intro to the movie is actually really cool. It's all like 3D rendered. Um, and it just, you could tell that these guys had a blast putting this together. It was a dream come true for, for them. Everybody involved, obviously, was a massive uh, Ninja Turtles fan. And who isn't? You know, especially if you grew up in the 80s, the biggest thing. And I, my favorite part of Ninja Turtles is Casey Jones. You know, he's the human, doesn't have any special abilities. He's what, you know, we as humans can be thrown into that crazy world so it was so cool to see focusing on that character you got all those catch great phrases calabunga audacious all, all that wacky stuff but it works it works in the world and you guys definitely need to check this out so let's see uh how you guys could follow this awesome team uh check out let's see where am i here check out uh chromatic phantom on Instagram. I think they have a Twitter as well. Uh, you could go to their website. Let's see, they have a link tree. Uh, oh, look at they're selling their merch on their the through their website and stuff. 
So Casey Jones Livewire, get a Chromatic Phantom hat to rep those guys. A shirt as well. I really like their uh, their logo. Very spooky, very chromatic. Yeah, dig that logo. Um, <clears throat> and oh yeah, here's the website. So you could the streaming now, so you could watch it right here. I think it takes you to a YouTube link. It's on YouTube right now for, for free. Uh, you could also stay in the loop by signing up. I would urge you guys to, because they're working on a lot of projects. I think they're doing comics as well, being a part of that. Not sure, probably not with this IP, but they are creators. So they want to dip their hand in some comics. Um, Adam, you guys have to follow Adam Michaels. You can go to Adam Adam's art box to buy any art from him. Here's some kick-ass screenshots of the guy in action himself. He's a total beast. There's uh, April O'Neil. She does some awesome fighting in, in the film as well. Just totally fun. It's so cool. He's got, you know, even if you guys are Simon Bisley fans, which everybody knows, I'm a huge Simon Bisley fan. They even have an homage to his body count mask uh, from that book in the film, the Casey Jones mask. Uh, but let's scroll down here. Look at his, some of his amazing art. This guy is a legend at these conventions over here. And he travels all summer long to different horror conventions, comic conventions. And when you see him at a con, he's just swamped, usually with women buying his art because he does a lot of Harry Potter uh, stuff and just pop culture stuff in general, like a lot of horror stuff. Um, and, you know, they probably just want to get a glimpse and try to talk to this this guy. Look at that, Look at that couple. Uh, so awesome guy. Definitely support him because he did. He supports us all the time. Did some awesome work for us. And uh, hopefully we could work with him again. And guys, I want to see more of this Casey Jones stuff. Just, just imagine, you know, we're doing comics over here. Imagine these IPs that everybody loves and has grown to love over the last five years. If we could do short films like this, I think that's something that's very possible in the future. And guys like Chromatic Phantom, Guys like Adam, uh, they could make it happen. Uh, I love this stuff, guys. Uh, I had to do an unboxing because I was so impressed with everything that they had to offer, you know, when it comes to the statue. And man, this freaking this tape in the box, it's so cool. I got to get a, a player out and pop this bad boy in. Uh, head on over, watch the film, leave a comment, support the crew. And, um, I can't wait to see what they do next. If you guys love Casey Jones from back in the day, uh, from the comics, from the cartoons, from the films, then you guys are going to dig the stuff we're doing over here at Zig Comics. Check this out. Uh, he's one of our characters called The People, who's inspired by the Daredevil, inspired his little Casey Jones in there. He's just a human. He's a ground-level vigilante. He's got a metal baseball bat that turns into a grappling hook. He is a courtroom sketch artist by day and a badass uh, justice bringer by night. Uh, beautiful art. This is just the first issue. It's an ash can. Uh, it'll be available on our upcoming Indiegogo campaign. This one and the second issue of this will also be a part of it. And check this out. This is uh, the cover for the second issue. We got the people here and our supernatural vigilante, the silhouette. So they're going to clash. You have the, the superpowers versus just the human uh, will in this one. So definitely sign up for the Lost Pages 3, which is uh, the sign-up is on Indiegogo right now. Uh, check that out, everybody. Thank you so much. I mean, this has, been, this has been Phil. As you guys know, hit that like, sub, and we will see you on the Flippity flop. I want you to know it's over. Well. Bye.